So come to the front of your mat. Cross one foot in front of the other, one arm on top, come up on your toes, lift up from the center of the pelvic floor up through the crown of your head, lower yourself with control, down to sit, perch, heels together, toes a little bit apart, arms reaching out. Roll onto your low back, stretch your legs out on the high diagonal, pump your arms for the 100. We go inhale and exhale. So this is the thing about being efficient about our workouts. We gotta get right into it. So you gotta be able to pull in from that pelvic floor right away. If you can't find it, I recommend you bend your knees and lift your legs up higher, okay? And then find that pelvic floor, pull in and up from as low as you can, behind the pubic bone, up toward the navel, and once you've got it, try stretching your legs back out again. You'll progress a little bit every day if you do this, right? You will be able to find it. I use my butt muscles, my abdominal muscles. I'm hugging them in and breathing. Go inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Curl your head and chest up a little bit higher for two more breaths. Inhale and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, 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 exhale. Lower your legs, stretch your arms up to the sky to start with, then inhale, head comes up, curl up. I could bend my knees there, right? And exhale over for the rollover. Inhale, shoulder blades back. I'm gonna leave my legs straight to roll back. And exhale, exhale. I could take my arms further overhead this time. Arms come up, head comes up, articulating the spine up. And exhale, over. Inhale, shoulder blades on the back. Leave your legs behind. Exhale, exhale, articulate. Two more times. Arms up, head up. Pull those abdominals back as you come up and over. And then inhale to start back. Shoulder blades on the back. And exhale to lower down. And one more. Arms come up, head comes up. Ribs tuck in. Pull those abdominals back. Exhale over. Inhale, shoulder blades on the back. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Okay, draw your right knee into your chest. Hug it in, stretch your left leg long. As you reach your left leg long, turn your left kneecap up to the sky. There's a little internal rotation there. Most of us, the kneecap will want to fall out. So turn it in just slightly, toes are up to the sky, and then stretch that leg a little bit longer, that left leg. I'm actually getting space across the front of the left hip. Now interlace your hands behind your right thigh, stretch your right leg toward the ceiling. We'll just do point and flex here with the leg straight. Point the toes, flex, point, flex, reach through that heel, point, and one more time, reach through that heel, get a stretch there, and then let go with your hands, place your hands by your sides for leg circles, left leg is anchored. Pull the right leg in toward you, across the body, down, and kick it up. Go across and kick. Hold your back steady. Hold your pelvis steady. And kick it up. Two more. Across and kick. Across and kick. Reverse directions out to your right for five and four. Again, holding your low back still, your pelvis still nice and free in that hip joint. Two. And last one. Place that leg down. Draw your left knee into your chest, hug it in, strong, and then reach through that right leg. Get your right kneecap to point back up to the sky instead of out to the right. And reach through your heel, reach, open up the front of that right hip. Nice big full breath there. And then we'll interlace the hands behind the left thigh, stretch your leg straight. Push the leg a little bit into your hands. You're in a little stretch there. And just point and flex your foot here. So reach through the heel, point the toes. Reach through the heel, big stretch through that Achilles tendon, point the toes. And reach, 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 and point. And then let's let the foot be, hands by your sides, circles. Pull that left leg in toward you, across to the right, down, kick it up. Hold your pelvis still. Go across and kick across and kick across and kick one more this direction and out to your left for five so really free it up in that hip joint 
Nice and easy range of motion. If you're feeling some clunking, try pulling your low abdominals in one more and kick it up and place that leg down. Okay, arms come up, head comes up. We're rolling up to sit and then draw your heels in toward your hips. Balance for rolling like a ball. Remember, you don't have to roll. You can just hold the tuck right here, pulling in from the pelvic floor. If you're gonna roll, here we go. Rock it back and back up and rock back and back up. You might also try rolling, just holding on to the back of the legs, just like this, a little tiny roll. See if that works. It's less pokey on the upper back that way. I'm just rocking on the back of the pelvis and back up. We'll do one more, your variation, and back up to balance. Hold your right knee, stretch your left leg long. Roll on to your low back right to the very tip of the shoulder blades. And then we go switching, exhale, reach that right leg. Inhale to switch, exhale, reach that left leg. Inhale to switch, and then we'll go with the breath. So we go switch and inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Brushing through the center. Again, you gotta drop right into the pelvic floor, the abdominal muscles. Put your attention there, pull them in and up, draw them back a little bit, like you're scooping them into the back of the pelvis, up toward the head as you reach your legs away, and last one, and rest, okay? Both hands on the shins for double leg stretch. Curl your head and chest up, sink your abdominals, and then heels are together. Inhale, stretch out. Exhale, remember your arms are attached, so they have to keep your ribs tucking in. If I take my arms too far back behind me, I'm gonna extend my ribs. So I'm gonna keep my arms as high as I need to to keep those ribs tucking in. Inhale, I can feel my low back staying on the mat. I can feel right where my low ribs are, touching the mat and not moving. Last one, inhale, reach and exhale, hug, uh, rest. Okay, scissors, hold on to the back of the legs, curl your head and chest up, stretch your legs up toward the ceiling, heels are together, hold on to your right leg, left leg long, and switch. Legs brush through the center, I'm curling my head and chest up, turning at my chest right up to my thighs. If I am more of a beginner, and this is really hard, I could put my head right down on the mat and continue the exercise. See, I'm still getting plenty of abdominal work. My low back is on the mat and it's quite a bit more accessible. And enough, draw both knees in. And if your head was up, you rest your head. Okay, double leg lift. Draw your knees into your chest, hold on to your shins, curl your head and chest up. From there, re-sink your abdominals, your pelvis back into the mat. Now, one hand behind the other at the base of the skull, stacking the hands, legs toward the ceiling, heels together. Lower the legs and lift the legs. And remember, you could bend your knees and lower like this and back up. And that way I have a lot more control over my low back without straining my hip flexors. So I can really use those abdominal muscles with the knees bent. I can really use the abdominals and not my hip flexors that's gonna make me a lot stronger over time. Once I get the hang of that, then I straighten the legs lower and lift. We're just gonna do one more, lower, 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 and lift. And bend the knees in, lower your head for a moment. We'll get ready for crisscross. I like to hold on to the shins to curl up for crisscross just so I can get nice and high. Okay, so curling up, then push your shins into your hands to curl you up even higher, then stay there, and place your hands behind your head. So you're much deeper into the abdominal muscles that way. Left leg reaches, cross to your right. And then switch, cross to your left. We'll go slow for the first few, reach and reach and reach and reach. And then pick up the pace, go inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, inhale, inhale, and exhale. Exhale, one more, inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, and back to the center, rest. Okay, rock yourself up for spine stretch forward. 
So that was abdominal series, just about 10 minutes worth of routine there. So even if you just did that every morning, it would make a big difference. Um, but we'll add the next 10 minutes for flexibility and um, get really getting length through the sides of the waist. Okay, so that's sort of the next part here. The first part is wake up the pelvic floor and the abdominals now. Sides of the waist, lifting up out of the hips, arms out in front of you. Inhale, exhale, round that upper back. Inhale, back up. And exhale, round the upper back. Tuck your chin first, feel your upper back, and then feel it articulate back up. We just don't have a lot of sensation there. So you gotta put your attention on it. Every day, I'm mobilizing my upper back. And then exhale, rounding in some way, right? Putting the attention there, that place between the shoulder blades, above the shoulder blades, up to the neck. One more time. Exhale, rounding, scooping the abdominals, lifting through the sides of the waist and back up, okay? Lifting the legs up. Again, you could bend your knees here for open leg rocker or <clears throat> straighten. Just shoulder distance apart with the feet, not any wider, and rock back and back up. Grab a little bit higher if you can. Rock back, and then keep your grip right there. Rock back, try not to shift your grip. Yes, use your low abdominals, shoulders down. Okay, and rock back, and back up. And one more time, I'm not using my upper neck muscles at all, no way. And legs together, arms up high. Roll onto your low back for the corkscrew. Okay, we're gonna add that little lift to start. So curl your head and chest up, reach your hands forward, and lift your hips up and back down. So I'm looking up, and then I'm trying to lift my hips up. I'm not gonna get very far, that's okay. Don't go into a back bend with your upper back. Don't throw your head back. Keep looking at your legs. One more time, lift and back down. Now, hands down, head down. Do that same lift you just did with your abdominals. Lift the hips up, back down, Circle your legs to the right, back to center. Lift your hips up, back down. Circle to the left and center. Lift your hips up, back down. Circle right and center and lift your hips up, back down. Circle left and center. Take the legs wide, sit yourself back up for the saw. Arms come out. Again, lots of space through the sides of the waist. Turn to your right reaching that finger. So we're twisting the spine, looking into the stomach, come up and twist. Look into your stomach, reach one hand back, one hand forward and up and turn. Like I'm trying to saw my pinky toe off with my pinky finger and then up and turn and reach and up and turn and reach. And one more time, up and turn. Scoop those abdominal muscles and we're gonna roll right onto our stomach facing the back of the mat with the forearms down. Elbows are just shoulder distance apart. Legs out behind you, heels close together. Push the pelvis down, lift the low abdominals up. We're gonna do the neck roll to start. Look to your right, circle your chin down and around, look to your left and center. So again, this is your chance to free up your neck. Look left, after doing those abdominal series, the neck can get tight and back to center. But here we are showing the neck, Oh, look, if we hold with all the abdominal muscles, the neck can be free. Look left, circle, look right, and center. Come all the way out onto your stomach. Pull, push the pelvis down. Lift the abdominals up. Lift your legs up to a low hover. Lift your arms up. Your arms and ears are in the same line, so resist the temptation to overlift the head. Now draw your shoulder blades onto your back, but extend out of your low back. Okay, so shoulder blades on the back, but now reach your legs out of your low back for one more breath, and then come all the way down. And we'll do that one more time. Stretch the arms out, push the pelvis down. That will start to lift your legs off the mat a little bit. Then lift your arms up, only in line with your ears. Really reach out of that low back. Use your low abdominals to stabilize your low back right at the top of the pelvis, and then extend out of that. Shoulder blades are still on the back and come all the way down. Good. Okay, we're gonna go right into single leg kick. Come up on your forearms, 
You can go around a big beach ball if you want, going knuckle to knuckle. Legs are still close toward each other. Right heel kicks. Go kick, kick, and left kick, kick. Try to hold your hips steady. So put your mind on the front of the pelvis, the pubic bone. It's not moving side to side as I kick because I'm engaging my abdominals, the sides of my waist. They're all hugging in as I stretch my quadriceps here at the front of the thighs. And last kick, kick. Come all the way down. Turn your face <clears throat> to one side. Bring your hands one on top of the other on your back. Rest your elbows. Okay, feet are toward each other. And they kick the hips. One, two, three. Now look up. Engage those shoulder blades. Open the top of the chest and come back down. And you kick. Two, three. And look up. Open the collarbones. And back down. Elbows rest. Kick. Two, three. And look up. And rest. Kick. Two, three. And look up. And rest those elbows. And kick. Two, three. And look up. Strong opening. And last one. Kick. Two, three. And look up. And enough. Good. We're going to spin ourselves around for the neck pull. Seated. Feet are hip distance apart. Kneecaps straight up and down. Again, length through the sides of your waist. Really nice and tall. Put Stack your head right on top. One hand behind the other at the base of the skull. Okay, so that is the more difficult way to do it. So you have to be willing to let go. You'll watch me let go. That's how we transition. We could start here. Uh, hands on front of the forehead, but there's a little less weight there. It makes it a little too easy. So if we're trying to transition to the full exercise, hand behind the head. Inhale, exhale to round. Inhale, sit tall. And this is where those the hand position makes it harder. I'm adding weight to my leverage. So here I lean back, then I'm rolling it back. And as I roll back up, I might have to let go with my hands and reach back up. Okay, so that's a nice way to start to learn how to do the full pose. Hands back behind the head, round forward. Sit tall, hinge it back really long through the sides of the waist. Remember that's the theme of the second half here, long waistline. And then keep that long waistline as you roll it out. Now keep that long waistline as you come back up, right? Really lengthening as I scoop up and over. Let's just do one more, sit tall, hinge it back, lifting out of the pelvis, lengthening out of the pelvis as I roll it back, and then lengthening out of the pelvis as I roll it back up. So I'm letting go just to show that, right, so that we can know that we can learn this whole exercise in a friendly way. Sit tall, and this time we're going to roll onto our back and stay there. So I've got length out of the pelvis. I'm reaching my legs away to come all the way down. Bend your knees for shoulder bridge. Hands by your sides, palms flat. Push into your feet. We're going to do two tail tucks to start. So tuck your tail, articulate your low spine off the mat, and articulate it back down to the mat. And then again, tuck your tail and lift it off, and then articulate it back down one vertebrae at a time. Okay, now just lift your hips up. Knees, hips, shoulders all in a line. Push into your feet. Purposely engage your hamstrings, the back of the thighs, and the butt muscles. Get that to fire up for you. And we're just going to take that right knee into the chest and place it back down. And take the left knee into the chest and place it back down. Hold your hips steady. Take your right knee into your chest. Stretch your legs straight. Bend your knee. Place it back down. Hips are not moving. Pelvis is holding still. Okay, draw your left knee into your chest. Stretch your left leg tall. Bend your knee, place it back down, place your hips back down. Good, we're gonna roll over onto our left side for side kicks. We're gonna do the very fast version of side kicks to wrap this up. So hand on the hip, or in the front, I should say, yes. Top leg lifted, hip height, and we go. Kick, kick, and back. So we just do five of each thing, and back. And we go three for kick, and back, everything's holding still. Four, nice sides of the waist, and five, and back. And then heel over heel, point up. For one, reach out that heel. Two, reach that heel long past the bottom heel. Three, four, reaching, reaching, everything else holding still. 
and five hover little circles there one two three four five reverse one two three four five circles bend that top knee over lift your bottom leg right up and we pulse it up for one two three four five and circles one two three four five reverse one two three four five both legs together both legs lift i'm um, sorry keep that top arm across top leg scissors top leg forward bottom leg back see if you can balance reverse bottom leg forward top leg back see if you can balance and then five kicks one two three four five scissors hold the legs there hold the arms there flip yourself around and second side in yesterday's class i did a rolling side to side front to back several times so it was very fun okay <laughs> hand in front reach that top heel out top leg is hip height and we kick forward for one and back holding all of this still two and back how do you know feel along the side of your body that's on the mat if it's moving or not it should not be shifting weight from armpit to waistline and last kick forward and back and now heel over heel we point up for one and reach long and two and reach long and three reach it four and five and then little circles we go one two three four five reverse one two three four five bend that top leg lift your bottom leg up and it pulses up for one two three four five little circles one two so we're still working on the sides of the waist the sides of the body the hip now reversing one two three four five stack the legs lift the legs take that top leg forward bottom leg back for balance and then bottom leg forward top leg back and then five kicks one two three four five and hold it there legs together arms balance and we're gonna roll onto our back for teaser okay five teasers any variation but working over time to advance your teaser making sure you're working the articulation of the low back lengthening of the sides of the waist let's start in tabletop arms to the sky inhale curl your head and chest up exhale rock up balance inhale here and then exhale bend the knees articulate down that's our easier teaser not the easiest but easier now rock up it's an inhale to curl up and exhale to get you up there little circles one two three leave your hands there work on articulating your low back down then bending your knees in okay so that's the medium easy teaser and now rock up so head up exhale to the hard part little circles one two three leave your legs there articulate your low back down now if you can leave your legs there and come back up right and then we'll lift arms up and down and up and down and up leave them there articulating that low back away from the legs maybe arms come overhead arms up head up balance yes i like turn my palms up and down and up and down and palms together facing each other articulate down we have one more after this arms reach long come all the way up now bring your elbows back behind you bend your knees in for a kick for a little um can can so we go knees into the chest circle to the right to the left to the right to the left and kick go right and left and right and kick and left and right and left and kick go right and left and last time right and kick come right over onto your stomach for swimming arms reach long legs reach faces down come to a low hover left leg lifts right arm lifts and then switch left arm right leg and then we just kick for one pull your low stomachs up pull it up pull it up and enough good and we're gonna come right into a plank straight arm plank 30 seconds 
Here we go. Ready? And go. Burp. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Spread your fingers. Creases of the wrist are parallel with the front edge of your mat. Find that length from tailbone to head. So we're bringing it all together, integrating it. This is our last exercise before seals of this sort of efficient session. That's what we're going to call this. Stay with it. Hug your waistline and hug those muscles into the spine. Nice big inhale and an exhale and you're done. Good. Okay, turn yourself around. We're coming right into seals to rock ourselves up, to stand, to do five push-ups. Dive yourself through. That means that way you'll get your push-ups every day. Dive your hands through, hold on, and we go one, two, three, rock back. One, two, three, up, two, three, and back, two, three, up, two, three, back, two, three, and up, two, three. Last one. Undo your hands, cross your feet, come to stand, turn yourself around, heels are together, arms up. Ready? Here we go. Up and over, touch down, walk out, one, two, three, and a half. We're doing five push-ups, and you can have your knees up or down, but in either case, challenge yourself completely. So all the way down for one, and two, and three, four, and one more. You should build a little bit of muscle mass on that last one, wherever you're doing it. Pike your hips up. Walk your hands back. Two, three. Heels are together. Use your waistline. Pull yourself up nice and tall. Stand tall. And exhale. 